Good morning, everybody. Um, I felt like crap again last night. <laughs> Apparently Tylenol keeps the monsters at bay, but at night I just feel really achy and feverish. Um, but I have 14 miles to two medicine and I have to get there. So we're gonna go up over one pass early this morning and then just pretty much down into two medicine. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make the best of it. <laughs> Okay, so we are climbing up. Apparently it's not a pass, it's just a climb. Um, my Tylenol has kicked in. I feel a little bit better. It's nice and overcast and cool today. So that's also helping out a lot. Uh, yeah, once we get to the top, we only have nine into two medicine. Hopefully I can get myself a bath in the sink. So just finishing off this climb. No, I haven't really said much on here. It's just been so pretty and amazing. And um, whew, I've also been feeling really crappy for the last couple days. So just trying not to let that, you know, ruin this amazing experience here in Glacier. We get to spend eight beautiful days. got to two medicine um, and the ranger pointed us to these spots this one and then there's one over here and there's only one tent pad and there's only one tent pad so we were supposed to have an entire spot reserved um, but I care apparently that's not how it works here so there's two guy two two guys hiking together and they each are got the tent pad so now between the five of us that are, are left we have nowhere to set up um, and apparently it's just first come first serve and make do with what you have which I think is frustrating because we're, we paid for these spots and now we don't even get to use them um, pretty much I'm sitting on a gravel pit which is where I might have to set my tent up um, it just really sucks because we were under the impression like every other spot um, every other campsite is you get a designated spot per permit but apparently not how it works here so Kind of crappy, but it is what it is. What's up? You guys are lost. Aren't you supposed to be at high elevations? Good morning. So we are leaving to Medicine now, and we are just 11 miles away from East Glacier, and. We're just trying to get there so we can get some showers. Cause it's been seven days and I smell like an onion, like a hot onion that was rubbed on someone's armpit. A hot old onion. A hot old onion. <laughs> so just a nice couple thousand foot climb. Then we descend down into East Glacier. So if anyone's wondering, the fevery night sweats did not come again last night. So I think that means that whatever it was, it's clearing up. Um, I also took a COVID test because, you know, strange times, even though I'm vaccinated. Um, and that was negative. Because Gail has some travel tests um, because from the UK, they give out tests in the United States. You can barely get one, but it was negative, so we knew that it wasn't COVID. So probably just some bug. Um, but yeah, fevery night sweats are gone. I'm feeling a little fatigued still, but it is what it is. Just gotta keep going. 
one step after another. Oh my God, it's seriously so beautiful. Oh, and I'm so emotional today. Oh my God, I'm just like a big ball of tears. I think it's just because I've been really not feeling good and really missing my mom, really missing move. And I know it's just like the first week tears, you know, they always come, but this time it's been really hard because my mom and I both lost like our really loved pets and I'm just missing her and my family and these views just like make it hit home that I get to be out here and I'm so lucky and oh, just a big ball of emotions today so don't mind me it's all good but just my god this makes you appreciate every day <laughs> God, this really makes me appreciate it so much more. Okay, enough of the waterworks. <laughs> okay, so we're just coming down into East Glacier. Um, and the last summit, I got service for the first time in like a week. So I called my mom and I wanted to show her the view because, you know, I was super emotional and she started tearing up and she said that this morning my pup, Jack Beans, um, went unresponsive and couldn't breathe and so she rushed him to the vet and they got him stable. They did a bunch of scans and stuff and everything looks negative. They think it was just maybe an anaphylactic shock from an animal bite or sting, but it's hard to tell. Um, so should know a little bit more later today if, you know, I gotta go home um, because he's obviously more important than this trail. Um, but just really struggling because I wanna get to town and stay in service so I can figure out what's going on with him. You know, it's like I already just lost one pet a month ago. So really be shitty luck but I'm trying to stay positive he's one tough little bastard okay so we got into East Glacier and right when I came into service I had a bunch of missed calls from my family and um, got the news that beans did not make it um, that the vets think that he had a heart attack because of his recent diagnosis of Cushing's disease that we had just recently started treating. So, you know, now I'm just kind of feel like crap. But, you know, now I have nothing to go home to as far as pets. So, lost Mufi about five weeks ago, 35 days. So it's just been really rough and I don't really want to film much more today, and I guess I'll start filming again when I feel up to it. So, sorry guys, and this isn't the best feel-good vlog, but it's real life, and you have to mourn the loss of things you love from trail, and, you know, I didn't even get to go home and say goodbye, I didn't get to see him on the phone, nothing. It was sudden and fast, and all within a couple of hours, and... He was my best friend for 11 years. Anyway, I guess you'll see some really pretty cool footage when I'm feeling a little better. <laughs>